which pharmaceutical company are we talking about and what prompted the cancellation? AstraZeneca is no longer interested in conducting a late-stage trial for its vaccine in the country. Earlier today, the health department confirmed that a British Swedish pharmaceutical company has withdrawn its application. Under Secretary Maria Rosara Verher explains that AstraZeneca has enough participants already to conclude its trials being done abroad. According to Verhere, the pharmaceutical company may still apply for an emergency use in the country. The government has been in talks with AstraZeneca even prior to the signing of tripartite agreement between the company, the private sector, and vaccine czar Carlito Galvez for over 2 million initial doses of vaccine. Vaccine czar Carlito Galvez Jr. is also in constant coordination with presidential advisor for entrepreneurship Joey Concepcion for the second part of this agreement. The private sector is independent be seeking to procure another batch of vaccine to be donated to the government. AstraZeneca earlier reported an average of 70% efficacy based on data involving over 23,000 trial participants in the United Kingdom and Brazil. Dr. Edsel Salvana, a member of the DOH Technical Advisory Group, says AstraZeneca's data have been peer-reviewed by other experts. As for China's Sinovac, Salvana is calling for transparency following reports that it is bribing drug regulators to expedite the approval of its vaccine. Dr. Tony Lianchon, former advisor to the National Task Force Against COVID-19, is also raising a red flag on vaccine-related data. Lianchon is questioning the government for prioritizing shots, particularly those from China that supposedly don't have enough tests yet to prove their safety and efficacy. Sean, the DOH is also set to meet with the World Health Organization officials to finalize the solidarity trial in the country. Verhera says that the initiative is estimated to begin by either third or fourth week in January next year. Sean. Thanks for that update, Greg. That was News 5's Greg Gregorio joining us live from Mandaluyong.